on everybody involved because of the, the heat, the magnitude, the scope, and the stakes are incredibly high, life and death. Developing now at noon, investigators back to work in Bucks County searching for clues they hope will lead to answers in the disappearance of four men. And we're learning today that progress is being made. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jim Donovan. And I'm Rahel Solomon. I would assume reporter Joe Holden is in Solberry Township, where officials wrapped up a press conference about an hour ago. Joe, good afternoon. What's the latest now? Good afternoon. The district attorney was brief in his remarks. He did talk about locating important pieces of evidence as the investigation moves forward, but he would not tell us what those pieces of evidence were. This as investigators continue to comb a 90-acre farm owned by the DiNardo family and whose son, 20-year-old Cosmo DiNardo, has been identified, label, labeled, made that as a person of interest in the disappearance of these four men. Chopper 3, high above the farm earlier this morning, capturing the unfolding scene below on this remote farm. FBI and police were huddled under a white tent and were making use of a wooden board to excavate something out of that hole. When I asked the DA specifically about this, he would not comment on what they were digging up. Now, Jimmy Tar Patrick, Dean Finacciaro. Tom Mayo and Mark Sturgis haven't been seen in several days. Prosecutors have said foul play is a factor in their disappearance. Their cars have been located at various locations in Solbury Township. Now, one of those places being the DiNardo's farm. About all the DA did confirm this morning was that his investigation is making headway on that property. We have not yet recovered any human remains that I can report, but we have recovered several important pieces of evidence at this site that we're currently working very hard on with the majority of our manpower and at other locations. Now let's talk about this man, Cosmo DiNardo, the person of interest in this case. He has been arrested on an outstanding firearms charge dating back to February. Now the DA's office requested a million dollar bond be set. DiNardo last night posted 10% of that bond. Now sources have told Eyewitness News he had violent tendencies following a quad crash that left him with serious head injuries. Now prosecutors have still not yet detailed the relationship between DiNardo and these four men, though as time drags on and few answers are revealed. This community is beginning to speculate wildly on these connections and what may have happened. Of course, we will keep you posted on any development online and over the air. Live in Solbury Township, Bucks County, Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Joe.